Now, though, to continue our inspirational story series, we are joined in the Harvey Normal Lounge by Shannon Cleave, who, after taking on the Blind Foundation's seven-day challenge last year, has lost, get this, 60 kilos in just 18 months by living a life without limits. Good morning, Shannon. Hi. That's extraordinary. I want to get to that in a moment. But you were born with <laughs> albinism. Um, can you explain yep. what the condition is, how it affects you? Albinism is a lack of colour pigment, and it can be in your hair, skin, and eyes. So I got the whole bunch. My sister and I. And what does it mean for you? Um, basically, it affects um, my eyesight mostly, and then sunburn is a big issue. Right. So, and glare um, <laughs> is also an issue. So, so bright lights and um, and changes of light mean that um, my eyesight is worse. It just it do it doesn't go, and I'm short sighted. Right. So, like extremely. And last year you completed the seven day challenge with the Blind Foundation. I'd love to know more about that. What did that entail? So the seven day challenge was dreamt up by a person called Blair Gilbert, who works for the Blind Foundation. It entailed seven blind or low vision Kiwis traveling 700 kilometers in seven days. From, we went from Tauranga, um, we climbed Mount Monganui, and we went through to Wellington. Our last challenge was dragon boating in the Oriental Bay. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, and we do s did seven different challenges throughout that week. So we climbed Mount Monganui, we whitewater rafted, um, ran a marathon, biked 100 k's on tandem bikes, um, did a, wow. climbed Tongvero, um, summited and came back again, uh, went to Kapiti Walkway for 21 kilometres, um, Whanganui River, we kayaked down that wow. and um, then finished dragon boating. Uh, and b back up the yeah. track a bit, sorry, you ran a marathon? Yeah, it was a relay r marathon, but um, the seven of us completed it from Tauranga through to Rotorua. Gosh, and this, this was this the start of you losing an amazing amount of weight? Yeah, I started before the seven day challenge, so I started in the April and the challenge mm. was in October. Mm. So I'd lost about 15 to 20 kgs before then, and then I lost 40 kgs in the last year. How did you do it? Um, I have a really good personal trainer, yeah. and um, yeah, and I, I am committed to um, just living healthily, and I still like the lattes and yep. the scones for morning tea, so yeah. And I'd, you know what, congratulations, so because that is a massive effort. You've done it incredibly yeah. well. What was Thanks. the hardest challenge for you? So the hardest challenge on the seven-day challenge? Yeah. Or, or, or just, or in, just general, in general, through the process? So the, the hardest challenge for anyone with low vision is access. So the, the, the real trick is that we can't drive. I can't drive, I don't have a licence, so I have to walk everywhere or catch a bus. And then getting into buildings is tricky. Like right. someone goes, oh, it's just this number. Right. And you're like, but then it's just a box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so for finding your way right. literally around places that must is, be so is difficult. The issue. Well, I think I, yeah. I have, and my vision is normal, and I can't find my way into buildings. No. Yeah. Um, I can't see letterbox so numbers or anything, yeah. so I can't so, even imagine. Yeah. Um, so, you decided that this obviously wasn't enough for you, so now you're training for a triathlon as well. Yeah, so I am training to do para triathlon, um, which means. Um, there's five categories, but my category is vision impaired, mm. and um, so I am literally tethered to my guide for the swim and the run. Um, we tether at the knee for the swim, and it's 750 metres open water swim in um, in the ocean. Gosh, that must take a lot of training. Um, and yeah. then we will be tandem biking. Um, on I've, yeah, I've got a nice road bike, and then um, the run is five kilometres, um, and we're also tied together at the waist for that. We you know, like all sorts of tying. <laughs> oh my wow. God. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, so our first one is this weekend. <gasps> that is so exciting. Yeah. Well, best of luck. Uh, really, yep. really best of luck. That is so impressive. Thank you. And uh, you can find out more about the Blind Foundation on their website, blindfoundation.org.nz.